Patty, what's uh, what's the emotions like for this team after what happened yesterday? What, how, how do you guys handle the emotion? No, it, it's not bad. Um, we've been in this you know situation before where we've um, lost by 30 points in, in the first game. Um, so it, it's it's okay. You know, there's a lot of learning lessons for us uh, from last night's game, but there was also you know some things that we done really well. Um, and one of those things was transition defense. You know, and eliminating to. Um, single-digit points, I think it was six or, or something like that. So um, a lot of stuff that, you know, good stuff that we can take out of it. Um, but obviously this is the defending champs and this is a very good team. We just do need to do a, a better job consistently throughout the 48 minutes of, of staying on top of it. When a team shoots 60% in the first half, I mean, is there something you can do about that? Um, there is because, you know, if they do shoot 60%, we, we can't afford to make, you know, very many mistakes um, on the other, 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 other things. So that's something that we looked at, you know, we, we can try and um, you know, be a little bit more aggressive um, physically, uh, defensively, so that they you know, can't get in a rhythm and we're not just following them around, um, try to get them out of their comfort zone and, and be on the front foot defensively. Um, but, but if they do shoot 60%, then, then we need to make sure we can control the other things. And, and another thing from, from game one was the, the rebounds. You know, we got horsed on the board a little bit. So, you know, it's on our guards to help out the bigs because they are so, you know, athletic and, and long to, to get the rebounds. You know, our guards need to help out the bigs on, the, on that situation. There were a couple times in that game where you got switched up and kept defensively. What, were you expecting that just based on the thing? Yeah, it was kind of just, um, you know, to simplify things and, um, obviously, it's not the ideal matchup, um, but but again, I think what trumps any of that mismatch stuff is just being aggressive and just trying to move them off 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 their spot so they can't catch in a sweet spot and and pull to three or have a straight line drive to the basket. So uh, aggressive, you know, aggressive stuff defensively, um, I think trumps any any of, of that other mismatch. How do you approach that individually when Jennings? Just try to be a pest. You know, it it's, it's it works. You know, sometimes I guess when when they're not ready for it, catch them off guard a little bit. But just try to get up and under, and try to get them uncomfortable, so they can't you know get in their rhythm and their mode of jab step shot or, or with the ball. And um, you know, I think last game that we played them, I, I done a decent job of it, and kind of expecting it, I think, and uh, and kind of you know drove me to the basket. But um, you know, that's the that's the idea anyway. Yeah, they, they started bigger in the backcourt than they had with Iguodala. Does that make it? Difficult to get shots off on that length. Like they have. They're long, yeah. With him, Clay, Draymond, McGee, they're they're, they're long, and, and not only shots, it's it's passes as well. You know, trying to get um, a, a nice, crisp, clean pass into a shot pocket. Um, you know, it definitely uh, it interferes with with that rhythm kind of thing. But um, you know, offensive, offensively is something that you know is a focus for us for for next game and and, and finding ways to be able to score because you know we definitely struggled. Um, you know throughout the whole game, but you know, we brought it to nine points in, in the third quarter there. Um, I just couldn't find a way to score. Val suggested maybe they had a bigger chip on their shoulder than you guys did yesterday. Do you see it that way? Um, I mean, from game one, you could, you could definitely tell that you know, they, they were out to prove something, um, whatever, whatever it may be. Um, for us, we, we do too. You know, we, we've, we've fought through many different challenges and adversities through, through this year. Um, and, and we're at a situation with, with the group we have, so, so we, we've got you know, something to prove that we can still get this thing done because you know, we, we've, we've been through a lot this year you know, and, and, and we're waiting for it to, to pay off because we're, we're, we're staying on the grind, we're, we're, we're sticking with each other and, and hoping that will pay off at some point. So in terms of that, yeah, I, I, I definitely believe we have a chip on our shoulder too and then we need for everyone to be able to you know, let that come out of them. Kawhi's off doing whatever he's doing rehab. Would, as teammates, would you guys benefit from him being here and kind of support him? Yeah, it, it, it's a, a, a tricky deal where you know you obviously want him to keep doing what he's doing to, to stay healthy. I don't know if he'll be able to do that if he's in in, in this environment. But um, in saying that, you know. You, the, the, the support is always going to be there from him, no matter where he is uh, around the country, and, and we feel that. So, um, yeah, we, we just we, we support him and, and him, you know, um, getting getting healthy. Thank you, Patty. Appreciate it.